namaste. So we just finished posting the complete Devi Mahatmya, known in North India as the Durga Saptashati. And this is a wonderful ancient work, uh, part of the Markandeya Purana. So it's very old, at least 5,000 years old, probably more. And this prayer has amazing effects. I've been feeling the effects just working with it over the last couple of weeks. And those same effects are available to anyone who wants to chant this prayer. And we also published the Durga Matrika Nyasa. Now, we made a whole series before on the Matrika. I'm not going to go into that again, but it's basically the Sanskrit alphabet. And it's the matrix of sound vibrations used to create the universe. So basically you can create anything using these Sanskrit sound vibrations. And that's the whole idea behind mantras. So by combining these two together, huh, you can get tremendous benefits with very little effort. In fact, in the 12th chapter of the Devi Mahatmyam, the goddess says, simply by hearing this prayer one time, you get the equivalent benefit of a whole year of daily worship with offering fine cattle and other uh, food and incense, water, scents, and other prayers, and so on. This is a very special prayer. So we wanted to make this prayer available because it's such a difficult time in the world right now. The very inauspicious alignments of the planets and in the benefits which are given in the 12th chapter, she specifically says that it counteracts the influence of inauspicious planetary alignments and it nullifies the potency of evil people. And we have to say that evil people are definitely on the rise in the world right now. So this prayer is the medicine. This is the antidote. This is what we can do to protect ourselves personally and also influence the world situation in such a way that it will resolve into a better state. So in the beginning, actually in the introduction of the Devi Mahatmyam, uh, you can download it and read it from any of the posts. Uh, the author or the translator rather says that the uh, Lakshmi Tantra eulogizes this prayer and praises it very, very much. So I looked up the Lakshmi Tantra, which is a fascinating work of its own. I'm going to put all these links in the video description so you can download all this stuff. Okay, but the Lakshmi Tantra, Lakshmi is talking to Indra and she says, here in this world, he who daily worships me, who am this goddess, by reciting these laudatory hymns, overcomes all difficulties and attains great prosperity. And ever reverent and devoted to me, Vasishta, whose mind was filled with my descents, exploits, and praise of me, chanted the laudatory hymn, to humble and dispirited samadhi of Vaishya descent. He who has learnt about these from a Brahmin, after dispelling all illusion, obtains true knowledge, gains prosperity, and succeeds in destroying all effects of evil, and assisted by me, achieves good fortune and fame. I have experience with this. <laughs> in 1984 after doing 20 years 
of karma yoga and bhakti yoga, I was inspired to uh, explore, to experiment with silent meditation. So I sat down in my apartment in Portland, Oregon, and I just began to meditate without any plan or method, just by going inside and observing, just watching, being the witness. I wasn't trying to do anything, okay? And it was so interesting. It was fascinating. I forgot about everything. <laughs> My girlfriend got bored and went off to stay with some friends. And, you know, I didn't care. I was like absorbed. And so after six weeks of this, where I was meditating up to 18 hours a day, I mean, just sitting and meditating, doing nothing, I got all of the symptoms of Kundalini arising. And then one day after lunch, I was coming out of the kitchen and I felt a female presence. I couldn't see anyone, but I had a definite energetic impression that there is a woman in the room. So I didn't know what to make of this. I looked around, made sure the doors and windows were locked. Yeah, they are. <laughs> and suddenly I felt a tap right here. And boom, I got the vision of Brahman. Huh? Brahman in the world, pervading everything. And the world in Brahman being only a feature of Brahman, an illusory feature. Huh? This is Maya. So she gave me Shaktipat. I felt the tap. And it took me many years because at that time I had no background in Advaita, what to speak of Sri Vidya. You know, these things were very far away from me at that time. I only had a background in Gaudiya Vaishnavism, really, and the usual Western concoctions of yoga and stuff. <laughs> but now that I've devoted my life to study of the actual scriptures, I understand very, very clearly what happened is that goddess was pleased. Uh, she was pleased by my karma and bhakti yoga over many years. And so she decided to descend and bless me. Now, she doesn't like to come into physical form. She is a subtle consciousness by nature. So she didn't appear in a visible form, but I sure could feel her energetically. She was very present in the room and I felt her touch me. Boom, <laughs> and everything opened up and I could see. So because I didn't understand what had happened to me, gradually the bliss and other symptoms associated with it disappeared. But then later on, when I studied the Buddha and came to Thiruvannamalai and began to study Advaita, I understood exactly what happened. And it all came back. So <laughs> her blessings are infallible and they're permanent. But you know, you have to be able to give her credit. You have to be able to acknowledge this is the goddess favoring me. So now that all the material is posted on this channel, you can do this practice. And there are two ways to do the practice. One way is to play all the 13 chapters from the beginning all the way through. I've put it in a playlist so you can very easily just play one after the other. YouTube will set it up and do it automatically. And read and chant along with the English translation. And the other way, which is just as potent, trust me, <laughs> I've been working with this stuff now for a couple, three weeks, is to chant the Durga Matrika Nyasa. Now, this is a little more difficult because it's hardcore Sanskrit. <laughs> the Matrika is the Sanskrit alphabet. 
as I mentioned. And these are the creative syllables that make the world the way it is. And they invoke the power of Shakti. Then after you chant that, you can chant the Durga Sukta huh? or Devi Sukta. Now this is the prayer that the demigods chant in the fifth chapter of the uh, Devi Mahatmya. And after they chanted this, the Devi appeared in a physical form and killed all the Asuras that were disturbing the entire universe. So this is a very special prayer. If it can get her to come in a physical form, it must be very potent indeed. And I just read the eulogy in the Lakshmi Tantra. So all of these things, all of these practices involving praise of the goddess have tremendous effects. Now you have to try it for yourself. Don't just take my word for it. But in the video description below, there are all the links that you need for this practice. I've even uploaded audio files and you can download those, keep it on your device, even on your phone or whatever. And that way you can do this practice anywhere, anytime without having to watch the YouTube videos. So these are the practices that I recommend uh, that I've experienced the benefits of and that I'm absolutely confident and certain will give you tremendous benefits. And it will also benefit the entire world. So especially now uh, from the middle to the end of October, this is the Navaratri. Navaratri means nine nights. And this is the season customarily, especially in North India, where the goddess is worshiped. It's going to be pretty wild around here because there's a Durga temple right across the road from my house. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> so I wanted to finish all this work before that big festival starts and then I'll be ready for it. So of course, one of the things in that festival is to chant this prayer. And one of the amazing things about this prayer that the goddess gives uh, the blessing in the uh, 12th chapter. She says that if you perform puja or fire ceremony, even if you don't know, <laughs> even if you don't know the correct procedure and all the right mantras and all the correct pronunciation and all that, she says, I still accept. I still accept the worship. So don't let the fact that maybe you don't know all the procedures exactly, you know, don't let that stop you. Don't let the fact that maybe you don't know Sanskrit very well, or it maybe even you might be old and sick or something and you can't chant all this stuff. Just hear it, just listen to it. Because even just hearing these prayers is so powerful. You have to try it, you know, try it for yourself and see she will give you the necessary guidance from within to follow this procedure, to follow this practice and get the result. And so from me to all of you, I wish you all the best and say, Aum Tatsat, Aum Shakti Aum.